Ohio. My City of the Mountain. I first read it, well, most of it, um, ages back, the cover I read, this is the first couple of pages. Sometimes I think that's the best way to start a book, is the first couple of pages missing. But yeah, My Side of the Mountain. I loved it. I loved it. It was so inspiring. It made me want to run away. It made me feel like I could run away and survive. And I just loved that idea. So I really liked My Side of the Mountain. It made me, still makes me want to learn falconry, get a falcon. Um, it's just amazing. <laughs> so basic. It's amazing. But yeah, it's been a few years. It has like illustrations. One of my favorite details. It's been a few years since I read it. So I'm planning on rereading it soon. But I wanted to talk a bit about what it's inspired me to do. So yeah, I haven't actually managed to go anywhere with falconry, but it has inspired me to research eating edible wild plants. And that research in turn led me to this. The Encyclopedia of Edible Plants in North America. It's amazing. Um, it also has illustrations. But, yeah, I haven't run away, I haven't learned falconry, but I have butchered deer, I have learned about wild plants, and now I want to reread My Side of the Mountain, just to revisit an old favorite. Now, I'm not going to start it now, because I need to go for Newt's, the Pendewicks. And then another library book. And then another library book. But I hope to get this video up before the end of December. We'll see. Bye! My hair is down again. I did nothing today. Um. Anyhow, I've started a... Well, I started reading... My side of the mountain. I'm that far in. Page 46. Just he just finished getting frightful. <laughs> this is not something that makes sense if you haven't read the book. Anyhow, I'm rereading it. And I was gonna comment earlier because I the copy I originally read was not a full copy. It was missing some of the front. I may have said this earlier. Anyhow, so I was really, I've read the full story before, but somehow I don't think I've read the author's preface before, and I'm disappointed in myself. It's great. I highly recommend the author's preface. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> read the bizarre things. But yeah, I'm rereading. It's as delightful as I remember. And the author's preface. Beautiful. I love it. Perfection. Sorry for the horrible light, but it's late. I need to go get donuts started. It's almost warm enough for me to be comfortably outside for once, but it's still not. <laughs> Whatever, I thought being outside to finish my thoughts on my side of the mountain was a good idea. I wanted to film a couple more segments before I got to this one, but the one night I was like tired. I wanted to go to bed and read fan fiction, <laughs> and then my, my camera was out of battery. So anyhow, I'm here, my side of the mountain, ready to finish off my thoughts. It's lovely. Great book. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about the Baron. He's just the Baron. Um, Jesse Coon. Um, Frightful. They're all such delightful characters. Briscoe. I come from the South. I am not. I could never go live in the Catskills. I could maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no. I'm too much of a wimp. <laughs> Anyhow. It's such a sad but happy ending. What? <laughs> I don't know. Um, books have been getting to me. 
past couple of things I've been reading. I've been reading the Lord of the Rings. That got to me in this, this ending. I mean, I've read book two. I know things change. But book one, wow. <gasps> the ending of book one, you know, when you meet Aaron and Jacket and Mr. Jacket. Brando. Oh, there's just so many of my characters in this short book. And they're all precious. I've not seen the movie. I don't want to see the movie. From what I've heard about the movie, the movie's horrible. But this book, it begins in the middle, goes back to the beginning, and it's the end. and sad and realistic and improbable <laughs> I don't I don't <laughs> it deserved the Newberry honor maybe it could have gotten the full award I don't know what the actual award was for this year but I'm glad I'm glad it stood up the test of time and still Still around, still being talked about. So, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta get that it got published. Why? <laughs> oh, it's so cold, it's so cold, it's so cold.